everyone welcome to my channel I'm Laura and if you're looking for inspiration to make some fun and whimsical wire crafts you have come to the right place now my goal here is to inspire you so I suggest you add your own special flair and touches to the projects that I share with you here and today we are making this really fabulous Halloween decoration and this looks seriously cute on a door or a wall or in a window and it'll have everybody asking you where did you get that so before we get started let's take care of the business things uh, and please remember to subscribe and leave me your comments I really love to hear from you guys and I also want you to check out the links I left in the description for some more really cool projects for you to try including a few additions that you can make f to this project now please remember that many of my designs are original so if you share it other places like your social media be sure to give me a shout out and add hashtag we met wirework to your posts all right so let's get started as i show you how to make this super cool really really beautiful halloween decoration so the materials we are using for this project pretty straightforward we have some heavy duty wire steel wire and this I would say is um, probably a 16 gauge in around there and then this one is just a smaller gauge and these are both utility wires you can find them at pretty much any hardware store so um, I got mine at Home Depot here in Canada so you'll just have to look around for wherever you are and this one I believe is a 18 gauge and just a couple pair of pliers and I brought in a hard board here to work on as this is super dirty and uh, you know it'll help keep my keep my background clean here so all right, let's get started. All right, we're going to start by forming our letters here. So we're going to work just right off of the spool. And I'll just give myself some here. And as with all of these projects, we want to wipe the wire just to minimize some of the some of the mess because it can get <laughs> pretty dirty all right so we're going to start by making our letter B here and this is free form so you certainly don't have to worry about getting Getting our curves exact, or the size of the letters exact. We'll just kind of wing it, what we do here. Now, you certainly could, um, you, you certainly could make a pattern for this on paper, and that would be perfectly fine perhaps some of you might need a little bit more of a of a visual a little bit more guidance with your with your piece and a bat is cool so just simply write the word out on excuse me on a um, piece of paper and then follow it from there okay so you can see what I did is I just went in just made the basic shape here and now I just backtracked with one piece there and I'm going to make the line for the letter B here and then just start winding with some of this sorry in and out of frame has, um, of course we are working off the spool so then we come down like this and then I think I'll finish it off there 
and we'll make our other letters. So you can see it's pretty rough, but it is going to look amazing once it is all completely wrapped. Okay, so I'm just finishing off that end. It's going to give me super pokey. Right, and there is our letter B. So we will just leave that there so that we have a size reference. Try and make these approximately the same approximately the same size. <clears throat> Doesn't matter if they're off a little bit because this is our messy wrap projects and I really love these because there aren't any rules there aren't any hard and fast oh you need to do this or oh you need to do that and it's kind of liberating actually <laughs> okay so this one I'm just going to snip off here completely Working on those circles are a little bit trickier than these straighter parts like we did there. Okay, finishing that off. Okay, so we need to make a third third letter, second O. Once again, we're going to keep it close to the same size. Awesome. All right, here we go. So, our B O O. So now we're going to start our messy wraps. We're taking the smaller gauge wire, and you know what? I'm making this in the black utility wire. You could make it in whatever wire that you like. These would probably look really great in like an orange aluminum, um, which is super soft, super easy to work with as well. So we're just going to start. Start our messy wrap. Well, that's all it is. That's all we're doing. So we're taking and we're just creating, creating this coverage. And then when we get to these parts, you want to make sure that we're not compressing them super tight. And for this part, actually, I'm going to have to cut off somewhere. And that is because we're having to go around. Right, so.
right, so now that we have these roughly wrapped, once again, we're going to take one of our letters and we're going to start to let's start here. And we'll feed that in up through the center. And I'm gonna give myself two good arm's lengths of wire here. Bear with me. Okay, so in this case, I put it in the um, center of the B, and I'm going to bring both wires up, and then just kind of give them a twist to fasten them in place. And we're going to put our wires together. And we're just going to start to twist. We're going to create curls and spirals. And what we're doing is we are trying to create some coverage here, fill in all these gaps. And now every, you know, three or four curls, you want to go in and you want to tack your wires. So by that it simply means just running your wires through some part of your design and then just looping them around the frame or other curls or um, just so long as you don't have one long loose piece of wire um, that just is going to come off of your, uh, your armature or your main structure and uh, easily catch on something and these will do that easily enough anyway right so you just want to make sure that they're they're nicely nicely tacked so that all of your hard work is not undone in a moment's time just by these catching on something right so it's a very important step in what what we're trying to do here. Okay, so you can see it's coming together, just filling it in with these little swirls and it just makes it super pretty. I love these designs. So as you can see, I finished wrapping our letters here and my screen isn't wide enough for me to show you the entire thing this way. So uh, if I end up out of frame with some of these, then I apologize. Um, but at the end, I will definitely show you this configuration as it is finished. All right, so I have a... Um, the package said orange aluminum wire here. It doesn't look very orange to me. It looks more, well, orangey gold, I suppose. Um, anyway, it is what it is. And uh, this here was a um, 20 gauge here. And then the green is a 16 gauge. All right, so we have those. And then we also have our, we're reintroducing our heavy duty rebar wire, and this is going to hold our piece together for us. So I'm just gonna cut off a length, and this is probably about 10 inches or so. And then I want to carefully wire these together and when I say carefully it's just so that they don't end up all kind of wonky and cock geez my goodness all wonky and crooked <laughs> oh my
my goodness. Okay, so we do want space left between our letters as well. Okay, so I'm just going to squeeze that fairly tight. Just press it flat. And we really don't have to be particularly neat with this. And this is heavy wire. Oh my goodness. Okay. How are we going to do that? Okay, so I'm going to snip off here. And just get that tucked in there. And the beauty is, is you can cut this wire off anywhere and you're, it's not going to make any difference as far as your design goes because it is messy wrap after all. Okay, there is that. Perfect. All right, so now we want to add this one as well. Try and keep the distance between the letters approximately what the first ones were. And once again, about 10, 10 to 12 inches for this particular piece of wire. And then that probably looks about good. I'm bringing this one this way. And once again, it's an ish measurement. We don't have to be, we don't have to be perfect. And really we don't even want to. I think that will won't fit in exact measurements wouldn't fit in with this this particular design anyway. Okay, so I'm gonna squish that down. Flatten it a little bit more. There, and I think I'll do the same thing with this one. Just kind of hold things in place. And this one needs to go this way. It didn't. There we go. There. Well, I think that looks pretty awesome. Okay, this one I'm going to snip off down here and fold it in this way. Okay. And I do want to scooch it over just a titch. There we go. And you can hear me huffing and puffing and groaning. <laughs> but once again, it's that heavy wire. <laughs> All right, fabulous. Oh my goodness, I really am loving this. All right, so now, oops, sorry, we need to do one at the top here as well. So we need something to hang it from. And I guess, really, if you. Um, or okay, would be okay with just hanging it by a finishing nail. You wouldn't really need to add a hanger up here. But um, in this case, we are going to... So all I did is I took my piece of wire and I just folded it in half. I want to create a little bit of a loop up top. Okay, we're going to attach it like this. Okay, so bring it around. through that way. And then we'll do the same thing here. We'll bring it up and around. And the reason I chose to do it up and around is um, if this wire is on the back of your letter, then it'll lay flush against whatever surface that you decide to put it on, whether it's a wall or a door or whatever the case may be. So um, that's the reason behind that. There is a method to my madness with a few of these things. And if it's ever not clear, then certainly make sure and ask me to clarify in the comments, all right? And I'm happy to address those. Happy to address those with you guys. I'm just adjusting that a little bit. Oh, and look at that, Ed. It's super cute. I don't like what this one is sitting. There we go, we got a little bit of movement now. Hey 
Okay, most excellent. All right, so there we go, we have that. And now we're gonna just take our colored wire and we're going to just add a few, a few embellishments here. Okay, no hard and fast measurements with these either. Okay, and I forgot to get something to um, twist this on, so just one second. All right, there is my trusty old knitting needle. Okay, so I've just wrapped it around this hanger a couple of times. And I'm just going to wrap this around like so. And then same thing with this one. pumpkin tendrils here and this kind of stuff I do like to create a little bit of a loop on the end so that it's less likely to snag on stuff okay so there's that one and then with this we're going to create a couple of leaves so it sort of looks like a uh, pumpkins pumpkins leaves so um, hmm. Okay, so what we're going to do, I think, is we're going to create the leaves first. All right, quite simply, put a little bend, decide how long you want these to be, and they're not going to look like true pumpkin, pumpkin leaves, um, just so you know. All right, so it just gives the, the sense of a, of a leaf. Okay, pretty straightforward. I'm going to give this a little point on the end and then I'm going to take and twist it around like we did with the orange one create another leaf like so and bring this down like that and then finish it off with another wrap Okay. Oh, that's super cute. I am liking this very much. Cute, cute, cute. Okay, so then we're going to add a few embellishments in these areas as well. So we'll start with our leaves this time, that way those won't get as smooshed as what the first ones did. Okay, so we have our leaf shape. And then we're going to take, we're going to can add this in between our letter, making a second leaf shape. And you could do three or four or five or however however many of these you think you think you might like. Okay, highly up to you. This is once again just the kind of the jumping off point for a design. Uh, which is what I encourage you guys to do is just to improve upon what I what I show you here and please send your photos to me via email I would absolutely love to see what it is that you guys do and that's not just for this project it's for any of the projects that I share with you guys here. All right, so there's a second set of leaves there. We'll do a third one. Like 
two. They're just so super easy to do these. I'm just give a little twist here. Pop that underneath. it off. All right, cute, cute. Okay, so then once again, we're going to take a length of this. If you don't have colored wire, you could do this just as effectively with the black wire. And uh, it would be equally beautiful. It's a little bit awkward working with this. I'm trying to get you guys to, hoping that you guys see the way the whole project is coming together, like so. Gosh, that's so cute. And you know, really, you don't even need to add any of this colored wire at all. It uh, definitely is a standalone design. And that's what makes these all all this kind of stuff, so, so very versatile. And so there's any number of ways that you can, you can do this and have it, just have it be this beautiful part of your Halloween decor. And you'll definitely have people ask me like, where did you get that? And you say, well, I saw it on YouTube. And for sure, you're going to have somebody in your circle that's going to want to make one of these as well. Now I also have, I also have some flowers that I made otherwise for a different project. This one's a red one, so you could certainly pop that in there as well or a couple of pink ones you could do these ones any color that you like and I do have a tutorial on these particular flowers as well and they are super easy to put together they whip up really fast and they're really great for all kinds of projects so you might want to check that out like I said I'll leave a link in the description below the video here so all right guys well there is our beautiful boo decoration which uh, is meant to hang on your door or a wall or a window and it's definitely going to be a conversation piece So thank you so much for popping by and joining me to make this really great Halloween decoration. I really appreciate you being here and don't forget to subscribe, comment, give me the thumbs up and hit the notification bell so you know when I have more really cool projects like this. So for now, thanks again. I'm Laura and I hope you have a fantastic day and I will see you soon.